Uh, what's good guys, Tito back at the video and today I'm going to try sports betting. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go, but um, I've heard a lot of good things about sports betting. I heard that it's very hard, uh, so that's why I'm just like seeing if a complete noob can do it. Let's see if we can make any, any actual like money from it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I downloaded this thing called Bovada and... Uh, my friend sent me a referral link because I was trying to use uh, DraftKings, but it doesn't work in Texas. So um, we are just going to do some NBA bets because I'm the most familiar with NBA teams. Uh, so that's what the plan really is. I'm going to try to bet on the favorite team because those are most likely going to win. Even though I make less money, I know that. Uh, but uh, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, even though I make less money, I'll like do my bet. So yeah, let's check our our bet that we did so yeah so i'm here on the laptop top uh as you can see uh we just entered in an nba bet uh we entered for the Mem memphis Grizzlies game tonight uh that is the grizzlies versus the spurs so you can see we entered in a negative 180 uh like odds so that means we got a little bit more than what it is right now because the, the like higher the negative is less you can win so put down fifty dollars and we can win uh can you focus please okay uh so we put down fifty dollars and you can win 28 and the game is at 6 30 is currently 5 42 come on camera bro what you doing bro as you guys can see it's currently 5 42 so let's see what happens and I'll up you dig I'll up you and I'll update you guys in a bit. Alright, so I had a thing to do yesterday, so I didn't record day two. But what happened was it was the Grizzlies versus the Warriors and the Warriors freaking sold me, bruh. Like I had four bets on the Warriors and they all lost. So I used about three fourths of my account. So yeah, we're back to three hundred. But we did get some money back. It would have been like one hundred. Did get some money back off of my safety bet, which is both teams scoring 100, always have a safety bet. Uh, that's one thing I started doing when I started this challenge, having a bet that I know will win like 99% of the time, which is both teams scoring over 100 is pretty common. So you won't win much money from it, but I put some safety money in there just to make sure that we win. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, so I had two parlays, uh, both involved the Warriors winning which immediately cut the parlay and the other one involved uh both teams scoring under 225 and they went to overtime and scored over 225 so yeah um but yeah we move today we got four playoff games so we should be able to make some plays uh uh first game is about like two to three hours and it's the bucks versus uh the heat so jimmy butler is back so I'm doing, I don't exactly know who's going to win, so I'm doing a lot more player points bets instead of, like, who's just going to win. Uh, I think those are a lot safer because the teams are pretty evenly matched. So I might just bet halftime, bet on who's going to win, see who's coming in stronger. But, yeah, uh, should be a productive day. Let's see. Two, day two was a success. Uh, so, basically, we won 750. We bet on... Wow, this thing sucks. We bet on the Wizards and Pacers combined to score less than two. Three. We bet uh, on the Pacers and Wizards combined to score less than 237. And we bet on the Wizards win. So that gave us about like 750 and change. So that was pretty good. Um, but as you guys can see, uh, with more, with more, uh, games, we do get more stuff happening. So, like, that's why we lost the next day. I just got too deep into it. I think that's a very rookie mistake. It does happen, though. I think I, this is actually a good way to, like, make money for real. So, yeah. So, uh, basically... That game went decently. So let me just show you uh, what I made from day three. I tried to do a player parlay for Jason Tatum. Uh, that didn't go that well. I tried to do a parlay for Tristan Thompson. He only scored four. 
Uh, so you guys see we lost on all those, but we did win the over 223 bet because I did some singles uh, on the Trailblazers game. Uh, that saved us. Um, also, we got paid from the Nets. Uh, we got 219, as you can see. We got 219 uh, because I did an under 234. This is the points they score. Uh, and I did the Nets winning, so I did think that they were going to stay under 234 because both of them are pretty low-scoring teams. Uh, then I also did win on the Mavericks uh, being under 216, So and the Mavericks winning. So I also tried to do a parlay on these and lost on those, but I did win on this one bet that my friend put me on. Basically, it was like if Jimmy Butler makes 1-3, you win, so I did this bet, got 84 from that, uh, but I lost another parlay, and then I got, I did a safety bet, which is both teams score over 100, that, this is all, yes, this is all day three, um, I just do bets, and then see what happens pretty much, <laughs> so, I think it's going pretty decently, today, we had some good bets that hit, um, uh, we have, uh, What's it called? We have the uh, the Wizards and the 76ers playing. So let's see what happens with those. So it's the last day I'm wrapping up this challenge. Um, it has been a, like a few days since the actual last day of the challenge. But I just want to show you my bets. And we're going to talk about if sports betting after a week is actually profitable. So, yeah. So I did a lot of bets. Uh, I had a lot of losses. It was really just, I started learning more. When I started, I used to do a lot of YOLOs, a lot of things that I didn't know were actually gonna happen. Um, but I started doing more singles, which is like, just like one player. I started winning those more, as you can see. Um, once I do like parlays and stuff, then I start losing because like one or the other doesn't happen, right? So the thing is, it is profitable because we do did end out the net activity of around six hundred dollars. So that was pretty good. After like approximately a week, uh, literally it's just around six hundred dollars in profit. I started with two hundred dollars. So um, yeah, I think sports betting is pretty profitable. Of course, it matters. Of course, it matters how you do it and uh, your picks and everything like that. I started minimizing risk. I only went into bets with max $50, uh, depending on my account size. There was times where my account size went to like 200 or 300. Uh, but honestly, I think that sports betting, if you do get the hang of it and bet consistent safe bets, uh, then I think you can be actually profitable with it. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys my uh, experience in sports betting over, the week, over a week. So, yeah, if you guys do want to use this site, it's uh, if you guys, it wasn't letting me bet anywhere else except this site in Texas. It's called Bovada. Uh, I'll have a link to sign up down below. Uh, I think you get like some kind of bonus if you sign up. I'm just, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just, this is the site I'm using because it's literally the only one I can use in Texas. But, yeah. If you guys want to start uh, betting, and I have my sports bets in my Discord. If you want to join my Discord, it's a seven-day free trial, and it's 20 a month after that. Or don't join. I'm, I'm going to live. Um, but, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.